Okay, we just caught this female house sparrow in one of our bluebird boxes with a special trap. Uh, she and a male were fighting like crazy with a pair of bluebirds over this box. We put the trap in there and just caught her a few minutes ago. Uh, should mention that the house sparrow has no protection at the federal level. It's considered a noxious pest, uh, probably like the equivalent of a rat with wings. So what we decided we're going to do is feed this to one of our black rat snakes. And Reed, if you could just move your hand out of the way so see the black rat snake there. Okay, so that one's waiting and uh, we'll throw the sparrow in here. She's still capable of flight and we're going to let this rat snake chase her around and hopefully it's hungry and catch her in constrictor. It is a, it is a constricting snake. Okay, uh, you want to go ahead and throw it in? Yep. Getting lots of uh, yep. sure. reflection here. Okay, she's in. Just stand on okay this side to get her to scare it over to the side with the snake. Oh, interested. Oh, 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 oh. There's all kinds of reflection here. It's really, really bad. Oh, I think that might be a little better. But there's just tons of reflection from the window. This is really hard to see. Let's throw some kind of, can you get a big towel or something to throw up here? We're getting a bunch of reflection from the window. That's the problem. So how much? So I got it. Better? It's better. So that sparrow, I don't believe is dead yet. It hasn't put much of a squeeze on it. But rat snakes are tree climbers in the wild and they routinely take warm-blooded furry or feathery furry or feathery creatures that are up in the trees and on the ground between the trees in a forest. Very rare snake in Michigan. You see it's getting its mouth up over the sparrow's head there. And once it starts going on the head, it will not take it long to get that down. Once it got, has the head in its 